Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, decided to upload a video, um, or actually more of a guide, uh, about fake Dolce & Gabbana light blue versus a real bottle. Um, I purchased this bottle back in November 2010, around Thanksgiving, and I was actually kind of excited when I got it. Um, but one peculiar thing was when I sprayed it on my skin, I realized that the scent would fade within an hour, an hour and a half tops. Um, that got me really kind of uh, suspicious that perhaps I purchased a fake bottle. Um, kind of struck me because I've been purchasing colognes on eBay for several years and um, for the most part I've been pretty happy with what I got. This is actually the first counterfeit I've received. Um, uh, the other day I spoke with my friend and he purchased uh, a Dolce & Gabbana light blue as well uh, But he purchased it at a department store. I think he purchased it at a Nordstrom's and I asked him Hey, did you know does your scent fade within an hour or two? And he said no, I mean the scent should last several hours So um, I actually have his bottle which I'll bring into frame in just a second to show you guys the differences um so I'm pretty sure now this is 100% fake after looking at doing a lot of comparisons um, you know, for being a counterfeit, it's actually made quite well. The scent, it's not bad. Um, just the fact that it fades within an hour, and truth be told, no cologne should only last an hour. I mean, most cologne should last you anywhere from four to six hours at least. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to the fake bottle. Um, I contacted the seller a couple days ago. Unfortunately, it's March 2011, and it's a little late to get a refund from them. Uh, basically what they told me was that they um, got hooked up with a bad supplier and they no longer sell fake items well that's too bad for me I already purchased a fake one and they can't give me a refund so I'm gonna do a little guide here kind of show you guys the differences so you guys can um, if you happen to purchase a fake one off eBay or anywhere else online you guys can kind of tell uh, it's kind of stupid of me I didn't really go to a department store and compare it side by side so to do it earlier but anyways here we go this is the fake bottle here and um, for being a fake it's made quite well I mean this bottle is pretty solid the box that it came with uh, is I mean if you compare this to a, a box at the at a retail store it is pretty uh, well-made counterfeit I mean it has that soft velvet feel of the Dolce & Gabbana light blue um, brand I mean it's the soft velvet is similar to what you would feel like on a pool table. Um, I guess, guess I'll start with the bottle first. Um, the bottle is actually the main difference of it. Well, maybe I'll, I'll bring in the real one now. This is the real bottle that my friend provided me for this video. And I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. I'm actually recording this on a digital camera, but the fake bottle the liquid is practically clear. It looks like water compared to the real bottle. Um, I mean, that's a pretty much obvious giveaway when the liquid is clear. I mean, it's probably heavily watered down or I don't even know what's in this. It, like I said, it doesn't smell bad, but you never know what you're spraying on yourself. Um, fortunately for me, I didn't have any allergic reaction to my skin or anything. But uh, first off, that's basically the main difference right there is the... Uh, the color of the liquid. This is fake. This is the real bottle. Uh, the next f uh, f fake point that I want to show to you guys is the caps. On my fake bottle, the cap is kind of this solid color light blue plastic. And on the real bottle, let's see if I bring it closer for you guys, it is much nicer actually. It's got an, a, a slight layer of plastic I want to say acrylic but it's not correct but if it's smoother and you can see the differences in the colors of the cap it's different there I'll go ahead and take off the caps and show you the bottom uh, this is the fake cap this is the real cap as you can see um, the real cap the inside is smaller and the benefit of that is it actually holds the bottle more securely. You, when I push down on it, there's that little click. It's very secure right there. This one is not, fortunately. It's also very secure. 
Uh, other differences that I noticed with this is, um, I didn't, I actually just realized it now, is that the nozzle on the fake bottle, the spritzer part, it's slightly off center. So, more indications that it's a fake. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the bottoms of the bottle. Uh, the, this sticker was stuck on, it's actually a little bit, uh, I guess tilted is the word I want to use. It's not straight like this bottle is. And also on my fake bottle, on the bottom it's slightly convexed, which means it wobbles around a little bit. It doesn't stay flat on a surface because it's convex. There's a slight bulge at the bottom of the bottle, which means the slightest touch causes it to wobble a little bit. The real bottle is not. It's pretty solid. So. All right, so I guess that's enough talking about the bottles now. Let's compare the two boxes. Again, fake, real. Uh, first off, you can probably see is the color difference. Uh, my fake box, it's a lot, the color of it is more faded, like it's been sitting in the sun for a while. And, you know, that just looks off. Serial barcode's in the right place. Same material, same lettering, foil. And uh, I compared the lettering and the spellings. Everything is where it should be. No spelling errors or anything. Uh, one slight difference here is that the real bo box right here on the right-hand side, it's about, kind of hard to see. I'm not sure if I can focus in for you guys, but it's about a tenth of a centimeter bigger or taller than the fake box. So... Uh, let's get to the barcodes at the bottom. Okay, this is the fake one, this is the real one. Now, my fake box, this barcode looks like it's actually been stitched on, as opposed to this barcode, which is actually feels like it's flush, or s completely stamped onto the material. Uh, the serial number, it actually does, the on the fake box, actually does match up with the fake bottle. But the differences in the serial numbers is, the, for the fake box, the serial number is up here. It looks like it's been stamped. This one on the real box, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually right there. It's like, I want to say engraved. <laughs> so it's right there. So it's a lot more faint. I guess it's, they do that so it's harder to duplicate. And that's kind of the main differences between the two boxes. Um, even the real box, it has these slight patches of white in the texture as well. So those are the two main differences or the main differences in the boxes. Bring the bottles back out of here. So uh, in conclusion, my seller, uh, I'll put his name or her name in the video description. Um, I'll actually give my seller the benefit of the doubt that yeah, they probably did get connected with a bad supplier and you know sold me a fraudulent bottle of Dolce & Gabbana light blue um, but I just want to let you guys know I mean if you shop on eBay for fragrances eBay is you know counterfeit heaven I mean you can find nearly any type of knockoff on eBay and fragrances is probably one of the most counterfeited things on eBay that you can find uh, I mean if you do happen to purchase on eBay um, make sure that your seller is uh, highly reputable and uh, they offer some kind of money-back guarantee if you're unhappy with your product um, I've actually been purchasing fragrances off eBay for several years so I thought I was making a, a pretty good purchase I mean my seller has a 99.5 percent positive rating since 2001 so I thought I was making a safe purchase and I purchased mine for maybe about 55 bucks shipped so it wasn't you know exactly super cheap um, so uh, I hope this guide has been helpful. Um, I didn't see any other videos posted on YouTube comparing these two bottles of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, so I figured I should make one and, and inform you guys out there. I actually decided to do that because I was actually kind of hesitant that I bought a fake bottle of Aqua DiGio. This I purchased years ago, but this is real, thank God. So uh, I guess that's it. Um, you know, avoid eBay <laughs> and uh, safe shopping. Take it easy.